But it, and following up on, on your thought about the, the victims of brutality, wherever those victims are, I, I wanted to give Ms. Uh, Jacobson uh, the opportunity, Assistant Secretary Jacobson, to answer uh, the Alejandre family questions. How can Marlene Alejandre explain to her daughters why their grandfather, who was killed by the Castro regime, uh, his life meant nothing, and the person who was in jail as a co-conspirator of the murder of her father was pardoned, set free, and returned to Cuba and received a hero's welcome. What, what does she say to her girls? Let me start out by saying that, that I can never bring back her grandfather, and I can never um, do more than express my, my sadness and my condolences to her at the start. And when, when she was told not have happened. by you and others that a trade would not take place, a trade by any other name, this is a swap. Was it not? You talk but, about but this phantom. Chair, I, I just want to say an exchange of intelligence agents between countries is something that this government and previous administrations have done many times. But had had the State Department not met with the family and didn't the State Department time and time and time again tell her that Gerardo Hernandez would not be set free by this administration, yes or no? To the best of my knowledge, did Secretary Kerry stay right here to us that such a swap would not take place? That a swap for Alan Gross would not take place, we affirmed, and we did not do. You just call it something else and say, we, we were always we telling the truth. don't believe that's what took place. Was, was were the brothers to the rescue family state. under the impression, because you gave it to them, that that exchange would not take place, that Gerardo Hernandez would serve the complete sentence? Did you give that impression at any time? Well, or I, anyone in the State Department. Certainly, I, I regret if the family felt additional pain because of an impression that an they impression. had left. An impression. So that's all that but, they had. They had, a, they had a false impression well, that you were, all this time that you were meeting with them, while you were meeting with them, you were already uh, cooking up this swap, whatever you call it, that Gerardo Hernandez, for all intents and purposes, what happened is he was set free. He was pardoned by President Obama. He was returned to Cuba. He was given a hero's welcome. But that was just the impression that they got from, it was a false impression, because you were never going to do that. Why you met with them? Let me, let me Don't say you at least me. feel a little bit bad that you were lying to them? Well, in the first place, no one who met with the family ever lied to the family about what our understanding of uh, Gerardo Hernandez was in jail on a lifetime. My time is over. I'm, I'm, I'm going to enjoy listening to the families when, when they hear that testimony coming from you. It's just, just pathetic. Thank you. And now, uh, Ms. 